Hello, everybody. This is from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Goodman. Over there, we have John Lewandowski. Hey. For those of you who are looking behind me, yes, the Admiral's home opener, we returned October 16th. But if you need to get to it's just a little bit before that, come on out October 7th, 7 p.m. puck drop for our preseason game. So for that, our show is also brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker 2002 West Art Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can call them at 414-800-7585 or visit their website at hockeylockermilwaukee.com. Thank you, John. Yep. All right, so we're going to start off with who's on our uh, current one. Our current, my current screen here, the Milwaukee Admirals. Um, so what we know so far, and most of these are just AHL deals. Yeah. Um, we have Igor Afanasiev. Yes, we figured out how to pronounce it. <laughs> Thank you, Elite Prospect. If you have Elite Prospect Premium or the free one, you can click on, there's a little microphone, click on the name, it'll pronounce it for you. In English. <laughs> um, Igor Afanasyev is from Trevor, Russia. He is 20 years old. He is signed through 2023-24. Um, we have Ryan Carpenter, left wing, also plays center out of North Reading, Massachusetts. Um, he's 25 years old, right shot, right-handed shoot, or shot, sorry, shoot, shot, same thing. Um, he's 5'11". Um, then we have uh, Joseph Labai. Labay out of Egan, Minnesota. He's six foot five, left handed shot, former Wisconsin Badger. Yeah. Um, then we have Mitch McLean. Oh, by the way, Labay is a left wing. Mitch McLean, center out of Baxter, Minnesota. He is six foot tall, left handed shot. He's 27 years old. Labay is 28, and Carpenter is 25. Sorry, I forget their ages at times. Then we have our oldest, well, they're tied, but two oldest. He's tied with Matt Donovan. As far as the Admirals go, uh, one of our older veterans, Cole Schneider. Welcome back. Um, I know he played with Texas last year. He is out yeah. of Lawrenceville, New York. Six foot two, left handed shot. Still got a lot left in the tank to prove. And he let we left something on the table here. He wants to finish, obviously. Um, and then we have Zach Solo out of Naples, Florida. We've talked about him quite a bit lately. Yes, so, we have. He is 22 years old, five foot nine, right-handed shot, signed through this season. All right. From there, we're going to get into the forwards. Not making Nashville, and um, we're not sure where they're going. Yusuf Parson, uh, TPS La Liga. He is a center. Fedor Svechkov. Yes, I learned how to say that as well. <laughs> he plays for the KHL. Uh, he has played two games plus two. Uh, we have Simon Knack. Out of, he is a right winger. Plays for Hockey Club Davos. Yeah. In Switzerland. <laughs> uh, you have Joachim Condoli, who really impressed me and John in development camp. Yeah. Um, he is at the University of Connecticut right now getting an education, so he will not be making camp that I know of. Then we have Chase McLean. He is in Penn State. No, not the state Penn. Penn State University out of the NCAA. <laughs> hmm. We're not going to have a, a Rick, uh, what is that, a Rick Vaughn thing out of uh, Major League. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, then we have Alexander Campbell, part of that uh, – Guy, one of the guys who got drafted out of the P.K. Subban trade. He's in uh, Clarkson University in the NCAA. Uh, we have Gunnar Wolf Fontaine, who is uh, also a left wing. Him and Campbell are both left wings. Condolique and McLean are both centers. Uh, Gunnar Wolf Fontaine is going to be at Northeastern University in the NCAA. Okay. Uh, Zachary LaRue for the Halifax Mooseheads in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. Isaiah Walther is coming over from Sweden to go to the University of Vermont. He plays left and right wing. He is going to be in the NCAA. Um, that is all we have as far as our reserves at the current moment. Now let's talk about the Preds. Yeah, I know what everybody's here for. Hmm. 
All right, so I'm also going to bring you their depth chart. This is their depth chart given what, what they've done um, according to Cap Friendly. So this is their depth chart of how they would line them up. So your top line would be Phil Forsberg, Ryan Johansson, and Ryan Johansson and Luke Kunin. Not a bad top line. No. Uh, second line, Matt Duchesne, Mikel Granlin, and Rocco Grimaldi. Yet another not a bad line. Then you have Ellie Tobinen, Cody Glass, and Nick Cousins. Now these are not guaranteed lines. No, they aren't. But they've put together. All right. Then right. you have Col Colton Sissons, Tanner Janot, and Matthew Olivia. Good God, that line scares me for some reason. <laughs> Um, we'll see how that goes. Um, it could be trending in there for Olivier. It could be, you know, given the opponent. All right. Um, scratches would be trending and Matt Love. Um, I might as well do it here because I'm here. Um, who they have in the minors at the current moment would be Rem Pitlick, <sighs> Michael McCarron, Cole Smith, Philip Tomasino, Thomas Novak, Luke Evangelista, Anthony Richard, Patrick Harper, and Grant Mismash. All, um, all but, I think, uh, let's see, Richard, Novak, Tomasino, Smith, McCarran, and Pitlick are not rookies. Um, loaned out would be. Uh, uh, Yusuf Parsonen, he is going to be playing in the uh, in Liga, but it's not guaranteed. The Predators could decide to send him to Milwaukee. Right. Um, that all comes down to them. He is signed to a contract, so he does have, they do have to uh, honor that part. Um, Zachary LaRue, another one of those prospects who, if he makes the roster, um, that puts somebody else in the minors. Um, so with that, I, I, I guess we could say that's really all I have there. Um, like I said, in the last video on Sunday, September 26th are the Preds first preseason games. They play at one o'clock and at five o'clock, both in Florida. Um, then they play on the 30th at, at Tampa and then they come home to play Tampa. On the right. Second. So, um, me and John will be paying, paying very close uh, attention to these. Yeah. Um, uh, on an update for the goalie video, David Riddich will be wearing the number 33 for the Nashville Predators, according to Cap Friendly Death Chart. Um, I'm going to take a look here. And see what Nashville else has. Nashville has 11.2, almost 11.3 in cap left. Okay. Uh, they have uh, one first this year, two, one second, two thirds, a fourth, a fifth, no sixth, and a seventh. We will see how that goes out. Um, I'm also looking, um, Kyle Turris' buyout goes to 2026-27 with a two mil cap hit. Okay. Um, Stantini's buyout goes away after this season. Doesn't really do us any good either way. Uh, right, two hundred fifty or two hundred seventy-five thousand. So it's not really hurting anyone. Um. Oh, sorry, folks. We've had a long night of recording here. Um, as far as our reserve list, um, something that we have to pay attention to is when players in the reserve list have to be signed. Yeah. Because you have an age time gap that you have to sign them by. 
like, okay, Adam Willsby, he was drafted in 2020 by the press. His is June 1st of 2022. Uh, Spencer Stasny's is August 15th of 2022, as well as Yoko Kondalik's is August 15th of 2022. Right. Now, they will probably be signed coming out of college this year. Right. Especially Kondalik, because he did really impress not only us, but the Preds fans were talking a lot about him as well. Right. Sorry, folks, I had a mosquito in my home. <laughs> I have three flies that have been buzzing my leg, man. So, sorry, folks, we, we deal with uh, issues just like <laughs> everybody else. Yeah. So the Preds do have uh, 44 contracts on a 50-contract rule. All right, to explain that a little bit, you're allowed to have 50 players in your active player pool. Reserve players are players who are in juniors or overseas, where they have 63 of them. Your reserve is also your AHL, but they right. also serve into your contact contracts in the 50 roster, 50 man roster. The Predators currently have 22 people out of a 23 person roster. Um, looking at everything currently, uh, your current active free agent sits as follows. Um, you have Tuka Rask, Brandon Dubinsky, Travis Zajac, James Neal, Franz Nielsen, uh, Jason Demers, uh, David Dubnik, Zach Smith, Eric Stahl, uh, Eric Gustafson, uh, Sammy Votnin, Jack Johnson <coughs> just signed with Colorado to an amateur trial deal. Um, Alex Gotenyuk, Bobby Ryan, I believe he signed with Tampa. I'm not 100% sure on that. Nikita Gusev, um, uh, Elias Pedersen, Rasmus Stalin, uh, Brady Kachuk, and Kirill Kaprizov, along with Jimmy VC, Kaylor Yamamoto, Nolan Patrick, and Logan Brown are all hey. UF. Uh, are restricted free agents not signed at the current moment, as well as having the Dinochara out there as a free agent. And that'll wrap up our video, giving you guys all the info you guys need, looking at the next coming weeks to see who may or may not get an invite to camp for the pro amateur trials, because trust me, they're going to sign some. They always do every team does it yes they do as i just said colorado's already done it new york islanders have already done it nashville you need to step your foot on the pedal a little bit here because if you don't soon there's going to be something gone as well as i've heard a lot of things going on as far as trade rumors we'll see where that goes but i don't feed into the rumor mill until it's kind of too noisy to ignore right so until then, we'll see what happens. But as we said, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm David Newell. Over there, we have John Wendowski. Our show was brought to you by the one folks at Hockey Locker. And we would still like to thank all three organizations for allowing us to cover them tonight. Yes, we thank you. Admirals, Nashville Predators, and Florida Everblades in no particular order so nobody gets mad at us. <laughs> <laughs> So, see y'all later. Oh, yeah, y'all couldn't catch that. Sorry about the background, folks. Hang on. I'll be nice here. There we go. Peace out, folks. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all our fans. Thank you to all our subs over there on YouTube. Please, if you're on YouTube, <laughs> click that subscribe button. It's about to get fun.